So what's up y'all? Today is Sunday, July 7th and our normal stuff for today. If y'all don't know, my store actually has a regular shipping schedule, which is Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, which I try my best to stay on, but I also work as I was telling y'all last time. So sometimes I might, you know, get it out the day after, but you know, that's just the truth of the matter, y'all. Y'all know how it goes. Um, but for the most part, I've been doing pretty well with that. But I also wanted to show y'all my OOTD for today. Um, today I'm actually wearing bigger earrings and it's kind of only significant to say because I've been um, promising myself to wear <laughs> some bigger earrings because I do have bigger hair right now. So I think it just helps it pop a little bit more. I also got this little necklace on, which is actually like a little tiny geode crystal necklace that I got from Marshalls. It was super cheap. Actually, it was on sale. It was like a dollar or something crazy affordable, like under five dollars because it was on sale. So that was awesome. And let me show y'all the rest. Okay, so don't mind my beautiful gown over there. That gown actually, it I was supposed to sell it a while ago, but I haven't listed it. I put it on my mannequin and now it's just become like a staple in my living room. <laughs> So one day it will get listed, y'all. It's actually like a $300 gown. So anywho, back to my OTD. Um, I am wearing a few pieces that y'all have already seen. Actually, probably my last vlog, I wore these same shoes, these pink corduroy shorts by Lucky Brand. Um, this really, really cute button-up shirt. And you know, I think it gives like mature, almost like coastal granny or just grandma vibes in general. But I was watching Jocelyn Party, which is one of my favorite YouTubers. And she was saying how her mom gives her crap for sometimes dressing like an old lady. And it just made me laugh because I went through some of the same things with me and my mom. We just do not have the same fashion style. So sometimes I like mixing some of the more mature pieces because I just think it looks classic. Like, I don't know, whatever. I totally get Jocelyn's style and I love it. Dooney and Burke bag again. Y'all seen it in the last vlog. I actually have had this bag for years and it was one of my first big girl bag purchases. So it's like a classic, like structured bag. I definitely bought it on sale and I just love that it's like super classic. It's open right now. But as you can see, it does have the red interior. Freaking love, okay? All right, y'all. I will see y'all in the next couple clips. We're going to my storage, so I'll probably be there. I don't know if I have something to tell y'all over here. If not, it might be something else. All right, see y'all. Church last Sunday was a pretty bad value. Huh? Uh, Metro, I think it's called Metro Christian Church. That's pretty nice. It's real easy going. Uh, Maxwell Christian Church? Metro. Metro. Yeah. It's on, uh, it's easy. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, it was pretty cool. So in this clip, we will talk about this new or old mailing technique that I have, depending on if you've seen my Instagram or not. This is the technique I use when I realize that I do not have any boxes or poly mailers big enough for the item I'm trying to ship. And I simply expand the poly mailer using two poly mailers. So what I did first was I cut along each side of the poly mailer facing each other. Next, I layered the poly mailers by putting one inside the other, and then I added the item so that I could create a more snug fit by pulling the poly mailers towards each other.
These little stickers are my thank you stickers. I found these at Dezo for pretty cheap, like $1.99 or something. And it comes with quite a few, so I'm placing one on the item. Starting with the inner layer, I'm gonna go ahead and expose the sticky side of the envelope. And unfortunately here, I allowed it to stick before uh, I actually got it adjusted while I was moving the camera. So since it's just the inner layer, I'll go ahead and just do my best to safely pull it apart and uh, just salvage it instead of starting over. So here, what I did was use the inner layer sticky side to cover both the outer layer and the cut that we made earlier, basically to tie the two poly mailers together. Lastly, all there's left to do is basically tape the two poly millers together along the side that we made the cut. Usually I do make this look a little prettier, but I was trying to get out of here as soon as I possibly can. So yeah. And as you can see, the jacket can't really move about the new bigger poly mailer because of how tight I taped it. So because I didn't like the way it looked, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this little extra part over and just tape it down and make it look a little bit neater. Okay, so hey y'all, um, I'm back in the car after leaving my storage y'all. So now y'all see why sometimes I'm ready to get out of my storage y'all. Okay, so the weirdest thing just happened and I wanted to show y'all. Okay, so I'm getting in the car and Honestly, today, it's going to rain, and I, it looks like it's going to rain, but what's so strange is, <laughs> if you could tell, like, I literally, okay, so my windshield is wet for some reason, but my windows are dry, question mark? I mean, that one has a few little dots right there, if you can see, but y'all can see, like, I'm in the middle of, like, there's nothing right here, so it's not like... There's some sprinklers or something that came on. Isn't that wild? Anyways. <laughs> All right. We're headed to the post office. Um, My packages were just big. I only have like four packages. But that little box right there is actually a wedding dress preservation kit. And believe it or not, the guy that was talking to me, he gave that to me. So he's really a nice guy. It's just he says some strange things. So <laughs> so anyways, I'll see y'all in, in the next clip. Hey, y'all. So we back. Today is Thursday. Is it the 12th? No, it's the 11th. It's the 11th of July. And I am in the mirror trying to fix myself together. Fix myself together. I was going to say fix myself up and get myself together <laughs> at the same time. So yeah, gruel. <laughs> you my type of people if you know where gruel comes from. Cause that's exactly what just happened but anywho i'm trying to get my um hair together because i decided to change my hair this time i know halfway through the video i didn't change my hair <laughs> um basically y'all i had a little crochet and i was loving it but it was getting to a point girl so i had to take her down and um now i'm trying to get this little sideburn to look like this sideburn because this one is giving all the energy I need while this one over here well girl yeah she is looking like the 1970s but it's okay though we're just going to the bins I do not like get all dressed up for the bins by any means but I only halfway took out my hair so I had to do something girl I'm not gonna walk around looking crazy and um as y'all heard that was my oven we about to eat us a couple of mini waffles and some turkey sausage again
Okay, as y'all can see, I look a horrible, horrifying mess, right? This is what I look like after a few hours at the bins. It definitely wasn't two hours. It was closer to three, maybe even four, because every time I think I'm going to go in there and just have a cute little bin strip, like, you know, I'm not even going to fill up the basket. Like, I'm just going to fold some stuff right at the bottom. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's going to be real cute. Girl, I found 60 four pounds i don't know why it's blurring in the back but i like this i didn't set it up that way maybe something i clicked but i like that but anyways yeah i left behind you know a few items that i probably would have picked up before but i was also kind of looking for some items that i didn't find which were like plus size talbots because i've heard that does really well some brands i don't pick up but if i find plus size like soft surroundings and whatnot i will go ahead and make that you know something I pick up. But also the thing about the bins is that I get a lot of my bread and buttery items from there. So it's like hard sometimes to not get over, you know, I'm going to say over 30 pounds because sometimes I literally stay between 30 and 50, even though I would love to get 50, over 50. This time it was 64. Did I say that already? It was 64 pounds, which was great because then I get the little discount or whatever, and it won't be a dollar fifty nine a pound, which is kind of expensive to be honest when you think about the the numbers. Like lately, I have been doing the numbers where I actually do my inventory, and after each item, like I list it and I weigh it and I determine how much I paid for it. And when you start getting into that, things that weigh over a pound or even a pound sometimes. Um, it, you can really see how much you're overpaying for certain things. Um, and I can particularly say that like certain hoodies and whatnot that only sold for like 18 bucks. When you put in, okay, I, it was two pounds or almost two pounds and it's $1.59 a pound. We're now at $3 that you spent on that, hood, that hoodie. And I feel like at the bins, you're not trying to necessarily spend $3 and make eight, whatever 18 minus 20% is. I feel like you know, just some, just a tidbit from my own little reselling journey. Oh, and I did record a little reel. So, um, I posted it already. So I know it's like Instagram worthy or whatever, but yeah, that, that was just a few of the things. Cause honestly, I got so busy. Like they were putting out things so fast that I didn't have time to really film and like, you know, but I did my best y'all. So, um, maybe y'all see more, maybe I'll do a live Ben's haul. I don't know. Um, I kind of wanted to get away from editing Ben's hauls because it is so much work. So um, coming up here soon, we might do another uh, actual Ben's haul, but it's probably going to be a live video if I can make that happen. So y'all look out for that. And that might be my method of doing Ben's hauls from now on. I don't know. It's kind of easier. I did it one time and I kind of feel like that's what's All up. All right. So this is the damage, y'all. Um, these two little things here now I'm blurred out ain't that crazy I don't know what I did y'all this um big Ikea bag is full I really needed another duffel bag it, if I had another, another duffel bag it would have fit nicely in there y'all know we like a good wedge in the summertime girl this is so perfect for the season I wasn't gonna leave this behind and it's in such good condition look at that beautiful i love my brighton like it's that classic granny core stuff but it's done so well and yeah so this was an enjoyable trip i must say i was there by myself and i was able to kind of more focus um so i like going to the bins with other people but when i'm there by myself i really get into it so but um yeah anywho i am about to go and get something to eat well really not go i'm gonna make something and maybe I'll sort through these items. I feel gross right now. I, I need a shower. And yeah, maybe watch the 85 South show. If you know, you know. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.